Oh my god, my beautiful shag. It's so dirty. That's it. I'm selling all the black animals. I'm only getting white animals from now on. Couple of things going on today. First of all, uh, I'm announcing a new channel. So a lot of you have noticed over the past couple of months that I've been doing a lot of kind of tech-centric videos, uh, delitting processors, creating a Hackintosh Pro, uh, that sort of thing. The problem that I'm experiencing, or the problem I want to solve, I don't even know if it's a problem really. What I want to do is have a separate channel for tech stuff and a separate channel for uh, Destiny and video game related stuff because I kind of feel that people who are really involved in Destiny may or may not care about the tech stuff and the people who are who are interested in the tech stuff may or may not care about the Destiny stuff. So I'm kind of going to separate that into two channels. So that channel is going to be called Briar on Tech. Uh, you can go over there and subscribe now now um, and that will just be tech related stuff there will be some crossover for I don't know a month or so um, there will be destiny and tech stuff on the briar rabbit channel the one that you're subscribed to now uh, but the tech stuff will also be posted over on briar on tech and then eventually in a month or a month and a half or so uh, i'll just have the tech stuff posted on the briar on tech channel that way if you're just here for destiny or video game related content then you know the the tech stuff won't be in your timeline i think people will appreciate that uh, and it'll also be i don't know uh just a separate separate place for people to subscribe to who just want separate tech stuff and hopefully uh, that'll go well if you guys are interested in that stuff make sure you go and subscribe over to that briar on tech channel I'll put a link down in the description and you can check it out the other thing we're doing today is we got to clean this office up it is a mess uh, it's been probably two months since I've given it a real cleaning uh, the floor is disgusting <laughs> there's dog and cat hair everywhere and I've got kind of the remnants of projects all over the place let me show you that so this is kind of my Mac setup here or the iMac Pro setup and you can see I've got basically the remnants of the delitting project still here the liquid electrical tape the gasket maker some coffee filters uh, the coffee filters I use for cleaning uh, with alcohol uh, it's just they don't they don't leave any like lint behind like a paper towel does they're just a really easy way to clean stuff up electronics up that you don't want to leave uh, lint behind on you can see I'm uploading videos to that briar on tech I'm gonna upload probably the last five or six tech videos I did to that channel just so there's like a, a base of stuff to uh, watch on there uh, over here you can see some more projects I've been working on uh, these LL fans are actually going in this PC. They're gonna go up at the top of the PC. I've got the, there's a bracket with this PC uh, that kind of slides in the top. So I'll mount the three fans to the top. And uh, I also have a Corsair 360 millimeter cooler coming. I'm gonna test that out uh, compared to the Noctua that's in there now. I just thought it'd be an interesting test to um, see how good that Corsair 360 millimeter cooler will be compared to the 240 that I already, or the 280 that I already tested. It's a newer cooler and it's supposed to be much, much quieter than the, the older style Corsair cooler. So I'll be trying that out. Uh, you can see I've got, you know, motherboard dust off. Uh, a mouse that I want to test uh, for you guys. It's a wireless mouse. Uh, I thought that'd be interesting to test, just some random stuff kind of hanging out. Uh, the desk also is a mess. I've got alcohol still over there. I just need to clean. I just need to clean up. Uh, the green screen is up. Let's put this down. This is probably one of the best things that I've ever bought for streaming is a collapsible green screen. I used to use that thing. You gotta see it. It was this huge bar. It would sit in the middle of the room and just take up so much space. It was very annoying. And here's the hack, Hackintosh setup. And I've got a bunch of fans over here um, from different projects. Uh, the Hackintosh is kind of actually needs to be updated. I need to actually get a better cooling solution in there. I think what I'm gonna do is once I put the 360 millimeter cooler in there, I'm gonna take that not to a cooler and put it in here because the way this sits right now, it's a little too loud to leave running all the time when I'm recording and stuff. Um, the performance on it though is crazy good. Look, I like Final Cut a lot. 
Um, I've tried Premiere. I've tried and I've tried Premiere. I have thousands of dollars of PCs. This is a i7-8700K. This is a Threadripper PC. I've used very fast PCs with, with uh, Adobe Premiere. I just don't like Adobe Premiere. It's slower, it's sloppier, it's harder to use. Final Cut is just so fast. And even with this much slower PC, it is way faster to render out a video or to edit and render out a video with uh, Final Cut than it is with these much faster PCs in Premiere. So I've been struggling with Premiere for the last year or so. I've been trying to learn it. I've been trying to get good at it. In the end, like I'm just gonna ditch it. $50 a year for Premiere Pro is, or I'm sorry, $50 a month for Premiere Pro as opposed to, I think it's $400 to buy Final Cut, like a one-time deal. Like it's just a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Let me turn off this air conditioner. Sorry about that, it's probably pretty loud. So I'm just, I'm giving up on Adobe. I like, I've, I've just had enough. I would love to use this more powerful hardware to render videos. But even with the more powerful hardware, like Final Cut is just faster and it's easier and I already know it. So it, I don't have to spend the time to do it. Plus $50 a month compared to $400 that I already spent for multiple years. Like you buy the software from Apple, Final Cut Pro for $400 and you own it, right? You own it until they make the next version. With Premiere, it's $50 a month. That's what, $600 a year? And you just have to pay every month, every month, every month. So yeah, that's the goal today. We got to get some videos uploaded to the new channel. We've got to clean up the office and I may or may not have time to mess with computer parts. I might leave that for another video though. I'm really looking forward to getting that 360 millimeter radiator in here and the fans. The goal is to have those fans running at such a low RPM that the thing is basically silent. We'll see how that works out. I'll let you guys know. Also, wouldn't mind taking a pass at some cable management. It's getting a little rat's nesty back here. Uh, last time I did that was probably six months ago. And it's just that like every time you get into, you know, you want to change the configuration of something or you need something plugged in or something's not working, you have to dig through it and it gets all messed up again. So, you know, that's, that's just a constant problem. Cable management is a pain in the neck. I really love my mixing board. It makes things so much simpler as far as streaming goes. But the one thing I can't stand about it is the dust. Look at this. Ugh, gross. If anybody knows a good way of like cleaning this kind of thing with like all these knobs, I don't really want to touch the knobs because I don't want to like change my settings on each knob every time I dust it. But man, it's a pain in the neck. If anybody's got a good solution for that, a good method of kind of cleaning something like this, I'd really love to know. Comfortable. Taking a quick break from cleaning and reading some of the, actually they're not even rumors, I think they're official Intel information coming out about the newest generation of desktop CPUs from Intel. And it's a really weird lineup. There's an i9 that's eight cores and 16 threads that'll overclock to five gigahertz. There's an i7 that replaces the i7-8700K, but it doesn't have hyper-threading, and the i5 doesn't have hyper-threading either. It's a really strange lineup. Oh, it's interesting. I might make a video about this later. Minimal effort has been completed. The office is clean up to specifications. Uh, it only took one energy drink and a couple of hours to complete. Uh, you can see I'm actually editing a new video for uh, the Destiny channel. This will be about quick play and why I'm enjoying it so much or why I think I'm enjoying it so much. Uh, we definitely don't want to look in the closet because I definitely didn't hide all my sins in here. Close it. Revolver. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I'm pretty much transitioning over to the Hackintosh for all my final cut needs. And that's been a wonderful experience. 
I'm wondering if it's time to move the iMac out of the office. It seems redundant to have two Macintosh computers in the office. I only can use one of them at a time. It's not like the PCs where I literally do use both of them at the same time. Uh, one's for gaming and one's for streaming. So I'm not sure. I, I, I might move this down to the living room. I'm afraid to get rid of it. I'm, Ryan from on Air PC says, why don't you just sell it? You'd probably get a good amount of money for it. And he's probably right about that. I bet I could get, I don't know, over a thousand dollars for it. It's not that old and it's you know, it's a Mac, so they hold their resale value pretty well. I'm scared to get rid of it, though, because this is, you know, pretty hacked together. And if something goes wrong here, like, I want something to edit on. I want, you know, a reliable computer. So I'm just a little bit scared to get rid of it. So I don't know. I might move it down into the living room. I definitely could use a little extra space in the office. Uh, I'm not sure. I got to think about that still. So it's time to start to stream up. Uh, I will actually be streaming some Destiny and some Hitman today. Um, I fell, I've fallen back in love with Hitman. We only played for like three hours yesterday, but I kind of want to just finish that campaign again. Uh, the Hitman 2 is coming out, I think, in October, November. It's definitely coming out this fall, I think. And uh, I really loved the 2016 version of Hitman. I can't wait for the next version. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm having a ton of fun in Destiny Quick Play right now. The 6v6 is a ton of fun. I got a video coming about that fairly soon. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Just kind of a random video about random stuff. Make sure you uh, follow and subscribe to the Briar on Tech channel if you're into the tech stuff that I've been doing lately. Uh, there's still Destiny stuff coming on the, you know, the regular Briar Rabbit channel, as well as other video game stuff that I'll be talking about as Anthem comes out, as Division 2 comes out. I'm sure I'll be talking about those games plenty. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on. It's been actually a really fun year as far as like new projects. And while there's definitely been fewer uploads on my YouTube channel, like there's, you know, DCP has been really popping off and we're working on new projects over there. Uh, the Twitch channel has been a lot of fun. It, it, you know, just having a lot of stuff up in the air to me is a lot of fun. Uh, and getting into this tech stuff, I know that a lot of people are like, you know, you, I subscribed here because you're a Destiny channel or you used to make Destiny videos every day. And I understand that, but I don't know, ever since about 2017, I'd say early 2017 or so, um, I've really just kind of gotten the bug under my skin for tech stuff and that's something I've always been interested in but over the last six months I've really had an interest in you know kind of talking about it and sharing my experiences and doing cool stuff with computers and other technology and kind of figuring out what's the best stuff and what works for me the you know the best and uh I, well, I can certainly understand why people wouldn't want, you know, tech stuff in their feeds on a channel they subscribe to for Destiny stuff. I'm still interested in making that content. So I'm still going to make Destiny content. I'm still going to make tech content, but I'm just going to split them off onto two separate channels just to make it a little more pleasing for the viewer. So that's it. Make sure you go over to Briar on Tech if you're interested in that content, and I'll see you guys next time.